Forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is night prayer for Saturday, March the 2nd, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 23, and Romans chapter 3, verse 19 to 31. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You are my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23. You are my shepherd, I shall not want. You make me to lie down in Cretan pastures, and you lead me beside the still waters. You restore my soul, and you lead me in the paths of righteousness for your own name's sake. And yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in your house forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You are my shepherd, I shall not want. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 3, beginning at verse 19. Now we know that whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be silenced and the whole world may be held accountable to God. For no human being will be justified in God's sight by deeds prescribed by the law. For through the law comes the knowledge of sin. But now, apart from law, the righteousness of God has been disclosed and is attested by the law and the prophets. The righteousness of God through the faith, through faith in Jesus Christ, for all who believe. For there is no distinction, since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. They are now justified by God's grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by his blood, effective through faith. He did this to show his righteousness, because in his divine forbearance he had passed over the sins previously committed. It was to prove at the present time that he himself is righteous and that he justifies the one who has faith in Jesus. Then what becomes of boasting? It is excluded. By what law? By that of works? No, but by the law of faith. For we hold that a person is justified by faith apart from the works prescribed by the law. Or is God a God of the Jews only? Is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since God is one, 
and God will justify the circumcised on the ground of faith and the uncircumcised through that same faith. Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? Oh, by no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.